and that's it. And I know that this, these are the same. 60% hydration, 2.5% salt. Let's say I want an eight hour dough. This is how much yeast I would use. I would use one and two thirds kilos of flour, liter of water, 41.67 grams of salt, almost a gram of fresh yeast, almost a half gram of instant yeast, and almost a third of a gram of, uh, I mean, half a gram of active dry and almost a third gram of instant dry yeast. And you can see these numbers will add up to what it is in the AVPN disciplinary, which is based off 3% uh, salt. It'll tell you that for an eight hour dough, it's one gram of fresh yeast for one liter of water, 50 grams of salt for a liter of water. And it says from 1600 to 1800 grams of flour per liter. So 60% hydration is in the middle there. Um, you can also see that your active dry yeast amount is half as much as your fresh yeast amount. And your instant dry yeast amount is one third the amount of fresh yeast. So in the disciplinary, they say that dry yeast is about one third is, uh, you need one third the amount of dry yeast as you would use fresh yeast. They are referring to instant yeast. If you're using active dry yeast, it would be half. Um, and you can see that these line up as 23 degrees Celsius is equal to 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, once again, calculating your average ambient temperature. You can also see that if you want to make five pizzas, oh, sorry, I'm five medium, but five large pizzas, you will do the same thing as a large pizza is about two small dough balls each. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool doing this. Um, play around with it, maybe write some recipes for different times so that you can know ahead of time what you're going to do. Um, also, I would love you guys to test this one way or another and let me know how accurate it is from your point of view or inaccurate because once again, I'm testing this and the main purpose of this is to give you guys like starting points, not absolutes. So that let's say you make a batch of dough exactly according to this and you make a pizza and you might realize it was underproofed or it was so hard to work with because it was overproofed. Please let me know that as long as you did everything to par. Um, don't guess your room temperature. Try to figure that out. Try to figure out the temperature uh, of your fridge if your dough goes in your fridge. All those things are very important. As you can see, the amounts will change. Um, Oh yeah, if you plan on adding oil or sugar or egg or milk or anything like that to your dough, just know it will have an effect on fermentation, especially like sugar or diastatic malt powder. Um, if you add like one to, I think 5% uh, sugar or diastatic malt powder, you will be speeding up fermentation slightly. Um, and if you add like over, I think 5%, that's where it actually starts to slow it down with sugar, at least uh, diastatic malt powder might continue to help that. Um, or if you have like whole wheat flour in your recipe, um, whole wheat flour ferments a lot faster than white flour because whole wheat has German bran in it. So keep those kind of things in mind. Um, those are things I can't readily get a formula for but if you guys also have any info on for instance uh how much less yeast you would need to use for each percent of sugar you add to a dough i can find a way to get that in here and make it more useful but i think this is really great for a lot of you guys including myself especially let's say i have a catering and i know i'm only doing personal pizzas but i'm going to do 45 because that's what I got an invoice for 
or gave an invoice for that got paid for 45 pizzas. And let's say my Apple use method has gone to shit and I can't use it. I'll enter that in 45 personal pizzas. Um, all right. And then I don't want to make any other kind of pizza. I know that. So I go in Fahrenheit. That's how I measure my, um, what's it called temperatures for me but i don't know my average ambient temperature because i know so i'm going to scroll down i'm going to know at room temperature it's that's about right for mine let's say if i'm using yeast i'm going to do probably less so let's say it gets 18 hours room temperature at that temperature, I'm not going to be able to throw it in the fridge. So I don't have a cooler big enough to throw it in there. But I know it's going to be in the heat at 90 degrees, let's say, for six hours. So then my average ambient temperature would be 77.5. So what is my average ambient temperature? It is not going to be 73.4. It's going to be 77.55. What hydration do you want to use? I like it as low as possible, so if it overproofs, I can still use it. I like as much salt as possible to slow down fermentation, but not too much salt to where I have negative effects on the dough. And then this is my total hours. So my total hours will be 18 plus 6, which is 24. And then I will be able to go down to the Fahrenheit, because that's what I measured in. I know I will need... 4.5 liters of water, 8.108 kilos. Um, I'm going to use active dry yeast, so I'll use 0.43 of a gram, 243 grams of salt, and that's my recipe. That's what I would use if I was doing this same ordeal, but I was doing New York pizza. If I had a way to sell New York pizza um, outside, which that's more difficult than you think. Maybe I have a food truck at the time. Um, I would probably add like 2% sugar and oil, um, or maybe 1% sugar and oil, so I don't get too much acceleration. And I'd probably drop this yeast to, I don't know, 0.4 on the dot or 0.35 or something of that nature. Um just because I know sugar might increase it and whatnot, or maybe it gets hotter than 90 degrees when I'm out there. Um, so these are all things to know, but I really tried to make this better than the Pete's app um, because I just wanted to work out that way. One thing I think I have an issue with is um, Basically, let's say if you're going from the fridge or cooler first to the to room temperature, like it takes time to get to that temperature. So I'm not sure how I should include that in. I also know that like if you have your dough out room temperature first, it'll get a lot of that fermentation done right away. And then it'll kind of pause in the fridge and then you'll take it out. And then are you going to let it get to room temperature or are you going to use it straight out of the fridge? It's really up to you. Um, so things like that. But once again, I don't want to get too surgical with this. I have a lot of things to do. I think this is a great starting point for a lot of you guys. Um, whether you have a business, for instance, you might have a certain amount of trays Let's say you have trays for small pies, trays for mediums, trays for large, trays for extra large, and enormous if you want to be that guy. Um, you can make a par, like maybe you want to fill all of your trays and whatever, if you know like it's slow, you might want to take some trays out, put them in your storage until it gets busy again, bring them back. Um, but you'll know exactly how to meet your par with an exact recipe. It might get your pizza guys to be a little smarter at your restaurant. Um, help them understand things because I can't even tell you how much better I am as a pizza guy understanding stuff like this 
versus when I used to just read a recipe off of the wall and go from there. Um, definitely empower your employees. And this is stuff that might interest them. I know when I talk to a lot of people and teach them stuff like this, they're very interested. It helps them give a shit about work. Um, but yeah, I put a lot of work into this and I really hope it helps you guys. And my next step is trying to make this into an app of sorts. Um, I also want to let you know that like a small pizza is like a nice country loaf of bread for the most part. Oh, that's not really true. Um, a large pizza is about a country loaf of bread. Um, of sourdough, like one big old Dutch oven country loaf. These can make little, little loaves, I guess, maybe sandwich loaves, maybe even two of them each. Um, but more importantly, what I'm getting at is one large pizza can make you a grandma pizza, which is where you stretch it on an 11 by 17. And you only minimally let it proof, and then you add whatever toppings you want to make. Um, it can also, you could let it proof and make a nice Detroit on like an 8 by 10, uh, or it might be, I think it's 8 by 14 pan, Detroit pan. Um, or if you have a Sicilian pan that's small, that's good too. Or cookie sheet. Um, an extra large is twice as much weight as a large pizza and this makes a great like 11 by 17 sicilian um or it can also make like a 20 to 24 inch like slice pie for new york style and then i wrote in enormous just to make it even bigger than that and that's twice the weight of an extra large and that could like for instance an extra large pie could fill up a full sheet pan pretty thin and you can make a big grandma pie or pizza al teglio but with this you could easily fill up the full sheet pan let it proof and make like a giant sicilian um if you wanted to so that's pretty cool too um but yeah i mean there's a lot of options you really have so yeah um yeah i mean like in my opinion, unless you're making like the biggest slices in your state, would you ever want to make a pizza that big? It's not easy to launch a pizza that big into the oven either. And the most you're going to fit in a 600, which is a size of a pizza oven, is maybe two of these, but probably one. And then a 20 to 24 inch pie, you can fit two pretty comfortably and can fit three if you play Tetris well. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. I know it looks like numbers and office stuff, but it can save you guys some trial and error. And I, there's a lot of science behind it. Um, let me give credit to some people who deserve it. Definitely the AVPN Disciplinare. That's like the whole basis of this, to be honest. Um, uh, I wish I knew the name from the pizza forums, but that's where I found out that each percent of salt gives you about, it's about 6% less yeast you'll need as you add more salt. Um, yeah, I'm honestly, oh, my dad, my dad's a freaking mathematician, and I gave him two examples from the AVPN disciplinary. Uh, one was that both same room temperature. If you're going to do a dough that requires one liter of water, um, you're going to use one gram of fresh yeast for an eight hour dough. But for a 24 hour dough, you would use 0.3 grams of fresh yeast. So that, uh, that made it pretty simple, but the idea is that um oh the example they gave was if it takes if one liter uses 0.3 grams of fresh yeast 
five liters will not use 1.5 grams of fresh juice, but more like one. And that's where I got the principle that I think makes this different than Pete's app, because let's say you use one liter of water and it's 0.3 grams of yeast. When you use five, I believe it would say you use 1.5 grams of yeast, um, which would be incorrect because yeast is an organism, not a ingredient, so to speak, not like a, not like salt is or flour or water. Um, so I, I was like, oh, it's just two thirds of what you think it was. But then what if you go down? It doesn't work. My dad's studying to be an actuary and probably will become one very soon. And I told him this and he gave me this formula that I used in this. Um, so big, big shout out to my dad. Um, also, additionally, I just want to state this is my work. Um, please don't claim this as your own. Keyword work. I spent a lot of time doing this. and I did this to help a lot of you guys. So please don't take this and say it's yours. Um, if you use a majority of my work and basically paraphrase this to make it your own, I would be kind of upset unless you really give me credit and I accept that amount of credit as what's good. But I don't think it'll come to that, to be honest. Um, and I got like a timestamp from the upload here, so just beware if you do have malicious intent. Um, but anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope it helps you guys a lot. Um, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. I'll help you out for sure. Um, So, calculator, and I will save this. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.